So I wanted to talk to you guys in the business world and in the world of life, as I like to think about it. I like to think about it as if we're fishes swimming in water, okay? That's how I like to think about it. In the animal kingdom, we're basically, this is a pond because I'm a water sign. So this is a pond that we are all, all swimming in. And in this pond, there's fishes and there's piranhas and there's sharks. So I'm going to be the shark in this water, okay? I'm going to be the shark in the water, okay? There's a difference. I'm a shark in this water, do because you don't know who I am and you don't know what I'm capable of, okay? So I'm going to be a shark in this water because you know my name but you don't know what I'm capable of. So I'm going to be some sharks in some water, eating some fishes, okay? So that's what I mean by sharks in the water. Because if you think about it in the car, I know that sounds like that's a very competitive idea. Yeah, it is. But it be a shark in this water, okay? Because all you think, if you think about life and like resume writing as being like business world, everything has to be a shark to actually seize your prize as a shark and make people know your name. So, so you guys know what I mean? You gotta be a shark in a full fish, a pond of fishes. You know, like of course, this is what I mean by being a shark in a full pond of fishes you have to be a shark you need them to know your name so they know what who they who you are and know what you're capable of but you have to have some tricks up your sleeve too so that way they don't know everything about you like what your capabilities are and what you're able to obtain in a short period of time so you have to be a shark in the pond of water do you know what I mean? So this is just a photo of me carrying a gun. So, you know, it's just how it would look if I was carrying one right now. You know, so basically this is how it would look. You know, so, yeah. You know, you got to be a shark in a pond of water. Of like fishes, a pond of fishes. You got to be a shark in the water in a pond of fishes. So that way they don't, fishes don't try to eat the shark. Because nobody's going to try to mess with the shark. Every fish know not to mess with the shark. You know, every fish knows not to mess with the shark. You know? So you got to think of it like that in the business world too. I'm also just talking about the law. Because you remember, there's self-defense laws as adults. You know, there's laws to, to protect our one self-defense. And you guys know I'm an advocate in law and I practice law. But, yeah, so I know the law, but I'm not an attorney. So, of course, that's where I only talk about my own self-security of my own self-knowledge of what I could do as a practitioner part of law so I can defend myself in my trials and defend myself in my errors that I make. You know what I mean? Like, the lessons I need to learn for myself, you know, so I know how to speak forth in the resistance to actually get my case heard and get my case resolved. But, of course, I'm just saying that's why I know the law. You know, so of course. And then, of course, in this world of business, you have to go farther than what your components will ever see coming. I Meaning, this is just me going to Satan and making a pact with Satan. So, this is basically me entering the gates of hell to make a pact with Satan. You know, so you have to be that ego minded, but also actually understand the idea of being a shark in the pond of water so this is just me and against going to the gates of hell of course you guys know financial and how, how, how money is also a key to buy resources so think about it like that money is a key to buy resources that one needs for oneself and then of course there's a gun on top of money it's just letting you know, like, you, you buy these, you use money to buy the resources you need to actually protect yourself and the self-assurance to make sure you can take care of yourself, you know. Of course, I'm talking about self-defense and also being a shark, so you got to be understanding with the ego-minded, materialistic type of viewpoints. So you got to be a shark in a fish pond of fishes. So money is a gatekeeping buying drug to be able to produce more resources for yourself. So this is basically where that goes into play. It's just a photo just to say don't be scared to get things a little bit scary, you know, because I like to scream, the mask of scream. You know, don't be scared of getting things a little bit too scary for people. You know, like, this is too scary for me. It's okay when it comes down to protecting oneself. Things have to get that scary in order to protect oneself. It has to think of a movie like Scream. 
Like, you have to go that far to protect oneself, you know? Like, it's a movie. And you want to be the one to survive in this movie. So, so everything is all about self-defending oneself. That's what I teach people as a life coach and as a spiritual coach. I teach people the standing guard of self-defending themselves and actually know how to defend oneself with the resources they have and the resources they obtain. So that way they could defend oneself. So this is just a skull carrying two guns, you know, it's just... I thought it was cute, you know, because it's like, you know, it's like, I'll go that far to defend myself, you know, get two in order to defend myself, so, you know. Of course, with being a shark, of course, that's what these sharks do when they eat their animals, they make blood go in the water. You know, I'm a water sign, that's why I put shark instead, because I'm a water sign, so it just gets in that mindset of sharks, when they eat their prey, they splatter their blood across the floor. So they continue to keep eating their prey and keep going as a shark. So, you know. So just be a shark in a pond of fishes. That's the end of this video. Hope you like it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I hope you like my demonstration of being a shark in a pond of water. You know, in a pond of fishes also in a pond of water. So be a shark. You know, everybody has to measure up to being a shark. So measure up to being a shark. And a great white shark in a pond of water, basically. So, of course, like I said, self defending oneself. So, keep calm and always get ready for war. And all time, you should be ready for war because that's just the part of self defending. There's life, there's death. So, we one has to protect oneself in the act of combat sports. And I do that very well. So, I educate people about self defending themselves. You know, like I gotta get a punching bag so I can teach people like boxing skills and kickboxing skills and stuff like that to actually attack your attacker and actually get them to submission. So that way you could end the cycle of them repeating their, 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 their scenario, their description of trying to harm you. So that way you always are prepared for war. Always be prepared for war, always. Because with war, war is a survival game and that's what everybody's trying to do. We're trying to play a survival game. So be always ready for war. And of course, with the Russia going on, with war right now going on, um, I, no war, you know, no war, you know, no war, peace, love, no war, you know, peace and love, no war, you know, war is a disastrous game that no one can play, you know, war is a disastrous game that no one can play and win, that's what war is, a disastrous game that no one can play and no one will win, that's what war is. So there's a science of war, but how strange there there isn't a science of peace. You know, there are qualities of wars. Why can't we study peace? So, of course, I do things to show you guys so that way peace is what I'm after. Everybody just after peace so that way it doesn't get to war. So that way it stays at peace, you know. So peace is what everybody deserves is peace. But you always have to be prepared for war. Remember, respect yourself. You're in this water trying to get the same needs of everybody else trying to get. And with that brings complications. And with complications, that brings trials and errors where other people will make, you know, down that path of trial and errors trying to become the shark that they're capable of being. So, like I told you guys, in the pond of water, be a shark. And make sure you eat. At the end of the day, make sure you eat. You know, because that's your goal. You're trying to eat as a shark. So make sure you eat.